What's on? Welcome back to the TR7 Skate YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing a trick that I absolutely love doing on the ramp, but it is quite a tricky one if you're new to it. It's the fakie rock. There's only really two moves that you already want to be pretty confident with. The first one is a switch rock to fakie, which is just a rock to fakie like we've done in the past, but you're going to be doing it with a different foot at the front. And the other one you want to be quite comfortable with is the fakie only on transition, which we did a couple of weeks ago. So if you haven't already checked it out, go and watch that one first. Once you get comfortable with those two moves, it's going to make learning the fakie rock a whole lot easier. The switch rock to fakie can actually be a very scary trick if you're new to it, but as long as you've done a good amount of rock to fakies first, you'll understand how the trick works and it's just a case of doing it backwards. You might even find that it's more comfortable once you've done a few, because for the switch rock, you're going to be landing going forward as opposed to coming down backwards, and that's normally the bit people struggle with. And it's really important to get the hang of that because that's the main bit you're going to need to land the fakie rock. The only real difference between the switch rock and the fakie rock is with the switch rock, you're going to be coming up the ramp on the back of the board and doing the trick. But on the fakie rock, you're going to have your weight on the front of the board so you can push off the front to make it bounce into the switch rock. So it's only really the going into the trick that's going to make a difference. When you're landing it, it's going to be exactly the same as the switch rock. You don't want to be coming in at an angle because you'll probably end up sliding it without wanting to. So make sure you keep that straight line for this one because it's going to make it a whole lot easier. Assuming I'm going that way because I'm regular, so for it to be fakie I need to be going backwards. I'm going to have my back foot, my right foot on the tail and my front foot straight over the bolts. Just like this, so that I'm ready to be able to push that tail down a bit to get it to pop over the coping. That's the first step. With your feet in this position, you should be able to gently push the front of the board down, lifting up those back wheels, and you want to do it just enough that the wheels can bounce off the coping, but unlike the fakie ollie, you don't want the tail to touch. Because if the tail touches, it's probably going to get stuck or it's just not really going to work. The key to it is to bounce off the coping with just your wheels so that it sends you right onto the top of the coping. Now comes the hardest bit of the trick because this front foot is going to need to shuffle whilst you're bouncing in the air. So you're going to be bouncing off the coping like we just spoke about and that front foot, its job is to move from the bolts right up to the nose because as soon as you're here, you need to be ready to push that nose down so that you can bring the board back in. If you just do the fakie ollie and don't move your feet, then there's a very good chance that you're going to hang up and fall down to flat. So the main thing you want to get good at practicing is the fakie ollie, shuffle that front foot up to the nose so that you're ready to bring it back in. But seeing as it's so important, <laughs> Seeing as it's so important to get that front foot movement down, a really good way of practicing it is forgetting about the coping for a second, coming down a bit lower, and practice your fakie ollies and see if you can get them with that front foot moving up to the nose so that you already get used to that feeling before trying it on the coping. familiar you get with that feeling lower down, the more natural it's going to feel when you come to do it right up at the top on top of the coping. You don't want to go slow because then there's a very good chance that you're going to only get to there and get stuck. You want to go fast enough that you can get the coping right in the middle of your board. That is the sweet spot and that's why it's called a rock because you can rock the board on the coping enough to bring it all the way back in. And if you want to add a bit more power to this trick, maybe get a bit more air before you smash down into the coping, as soon as you feel the wheels bounce off the coping, you want to suck your knees up as high as you can and your feet 
so that it brings the board up much higher. Because if you do it really relaxed, it will work, but it's gonna be quite quick. And it looks really good if you can get it to go nice and high and then do the rock really quickly, as opposed to doing it really slowly and gently. So that's it for the fakie rock tutorial. It's a really fun trick to get the hang of because it's gonna help you keep your speed on the ramp if you're going up fakie. It's a similar one to tail stall where it's gonna help you connect your whole run together. And like I was saying earlier, I've been doing them for a long time and it's still one of my favorite tricks to do on ramp. So get out and practice them. I hope this tutorial helps you learn them. If it did, please let us know. If you've got any tricks you're struggling with, let us know and we'll try and do a tutorial just for you. Thank you again for watching. Remember to click subscribe and hit the little bell so that you don't miss our future videos. Take care, have a nice weekend. Just out.